Hello, everybody. Welcome to One Beer With. I'm Dan Murphy here with the lovely cheerleader, Melissa. Hi. Yes. So, uh, basically, here we are. We're in Las Vegas. We're in Cauliflower Alley. Yeah. And uh, having a beer at the Red Zone here at the Gold Coast. Uh, having a little Heineken draft. You've got the Mick Ultra because yeah, you've got a match tomorrow. Yes, i got a match tomorrow. i got my 95 calorie, 95 calorie. Here. You know, though, it, I did just read that Mick Ultra has uh, GMOs. What's that? Genetically modified organisms. So it's got like the like weird, I don't know if it's like a cornstarch thing or like... Am I going to like morph into something? No, probably like, not. Maybe. Am I going to get sick? You, no, I no, probably not. Well, it depends how many you have, but that's yeah. how it goes. Okay. So, but this is only for one beer. Yeah, you're good. So, okay, uh, first of all, congratulations. You're going to be getting an uh, Active Women's Wrestler Award coming up. Uh, from Cauliflower Alley. Uh -huh. So, uh, just wanted to kind of uh, say congratulations on that. Uh -huh. And uh, what are your thoughts about being honored by Cauliflower Alley, Cauliflower Alley Club, uh, uh, an organization that's been very kind of near and dear to your heart over the past several years? Well, first of all, I got that right. Uh, the organization is near and dear to my heart because I know how to get back into the business. But to be recognized uh, for women's active. To be honest, when I heard about that, I was shocked. I was like, really? No, all right, now why yeah. would you be shocked? I mean, you were with, uh, you were recognized by Pro Wrestling Illustrated. Right. That's true. Um, and, uh, <laughs> that's true, that's true. Pat, we got to get into that story, no, no, though. Real quick, Pat LaFraud, having the camera, motion for you to move in. It, it was yeah, just like I'm this, like, like I'm going to ask you a question, but I'm going to jump in. Okay, so that's what that motion was. Anyway. Right, sorry. But no, you were recognized by Pro Wrestling Illustrated uh, for number one of the female 50. Thank you. So, I mean, uh, well, but my yeah. point being that you were recognized as being number one of the active women. Yeah. So I would be surprised you after getting that award, the Cauliflower Alley, an organization they've been so involved with, right. would recognize you. Why was that a, a surprise to you? I don't know. I just think it's a no-brainer to, it's a no-brainer for me to be involved. Every year when I come here, I'm, you see me every year, I'm in business mode. Oh yeah, every selling time tickets. I'm, I'm selling tickets, I'm raising money. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm invested in this organization as much as a lot of other people are. And it's very, it's generous. I'm humble. I really am. I really am humble. Uh, I, know what, I know what this organization does for professional wrestling. And to be recognized again, because I did get the Future Legend Award. Yes. And that was, yeah, that was very surprising and humbling as well. But since from then until now, you know, I've really learned about, you know, the inner workings of the Cauliflower Alley. And, you know, I was like, wow, this is a very, very special organization. Well, with the, the Future Legend Award, when you got that, was it, oh my god, this is great, I'm yeah. being nominated, uh, uh, recognized as a future legend, yeah. or was it, oh crap, like the expectation is that high, how am I ever going to live up to oh, it? Oh, like, both of them. <laughs> oh, both, are you kidding? It's, it's, I, I mean, future to, legend I, is pretty Yeah, I had right? to get to work after that. Yeah, I had to get to work after that. I had to, you know... It, there were just so many ups and downs. Hold on one second. Because I got Pat behind the camera right now. He's trying to get everybody to be quiet. Hey, boys! You gotta keep it down. We're doing an interview. It's alright. It's okay. <laughs> a little background noise is good. A little background is alright. <laughs> But no, but yeah, so it, it has to be intimidating to have a future legend. I mean, legend is, yes. that's like Nessie and Bigfoot. Like, that's that's good company. Those are legends. It, you know, and we don't even know if they really exist. <laughs> exist, so... You do we, exist. You know, yeah, we okay, have photographic evidence. Okay, so I do evidence. exist, but, then, but wait a minute. So does that mean I only become a legend when I pass? When I'm deceased? Is that when I, I get know. my legend status? <laughs> <laughs> let's keep it. Let's keep it in the far in the future, then. So, okay, future, way future. Hey, this is a because everybody's like, oh no, you're. I've had people tell me, what are you talking about, Melissa? You're a legend now, and I'm like, well, that's awkward. <laughs> but it's true. Oh, and, 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 so and, well, no, I, I know it's it's something you want. Now, it, I think wrestling is one thing, but two-time Shimmer champion, yeah. number one female female yeah. fifty, yeah. had a wrestling run in TNA. Yeah. Um, as Alyssa Flash, uh, Alyssa Flash as, as Raisha Saeed, uh, and still doing a lot more, plus everything you're doing on the independents and internationally. Yep. Um, I mean, yeah, yeah the legend uh, title is not, um, it's earned, it's deserved. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. So, now, we've talked about Cauliflower Alley a little bit. Right. 
a golf law rally does raise money for for the wrestling community. Right. Um, other charities that you've been involved with, I've seen that you've been involved in, in, with the, what is it, the AIDS Walk yeah. in, in San Francisco? Yeah, San Francisco AIDS Walk. How did, uh, is, is that something you've been uh, associated with for a long time, or how did you kind of get involved with that? Um, not, it, it, it became kind of a no-brainer, and it started off, it started off very small. Um, the real reason why I got involved with that was before that um, I raised money for um, the March of Dimes, which is a great organization. They help women um, with prenatal care and um, for premature babies. And after that, when I got involved with the San Francisco AIDS Walk Foundation, the reason why it kind of became a no-brainer and I became passionate about it is because I really did lose an uncle to AIDS when I was a little girl. My uncle, my uncle Roger, God rest his soul, he was wonderful, a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous man that made sure that all the girls and all the nieces in our entire family were looking good all the time. Every time we go to see him, he always had jewelry. He had pearls. I still have jewelry. I have jewelry that's over 30 years old. I, I miss him so much. That's but awesome. every time, and and uh, he and um, he uh, made sure that my mom and her sisters were dressed and looking, you know, looking good when they went to school. You know, my mother's from Nicaragua, so so he made sure that he took care of he took care of all the women. He, you know, and when the, when his sisters had all the girls in the family, and I have a lot of female cousins, uh, he, he was our favorite. He dressed us up. He do our hair. Fantastic. He nice. was yeah. He was our uncle Roger. We loved him. You know, we and we were so devastated when we lost him. And what year would that have been? Oh gosh, I want to like say late '80s, early '90s, or later than that. Probably later than that. Well, yeah, in the, probably. I want to say I was probably ten years old, oh, okay. ten or eleven years old. Yeah, yeah. He's very close to all of our hearts, and I still hold, you know, I protect this. It's probably cheap cost of jewelry, but I protect it like it's a billion dollars. Oh yeah, it's, you it's know, the, it's the all the we emotion have that's imparted is more important than the value of the jewelry. Oh, absolutely. Where it's coming from. So, so when the eight, so when I got involved the AIDS walk, it almost kind of makes me, you know, it kind of sparks that connection with Uncle Roger. That's very cool. It's, and every year, it's very nice to connect with other people that have lost. Now I'm starting to get emotional, but but it's very nice to connect with other people that have kind of experienced the same thing as I have when losing a loved one to this, you know, this horrific epidemic, and it's just very hard. And, we really want, you know, a cure, and it just, you know, I don't want to see other, you know, little girls lose their favorite family members. It's, it's sad. It, it's hard. It, it's kind of, it, it's not kind of cool. It's very cool that you have a certain amount of fame that you've had from being on national TV, right. and people know who you are, yeah. and, and, and by putting it out there in social media and tweeting and, and yeah. using Facebook, um, getting the word out, whether you're getting donations or just building awareness, yeah. you have that platform where you can reach more people. Yeah. So it's got to be very kind of... Uh, so rewarding. Rewarding. So forward, yeah. rewarding. Last year was the most amount of money that I ever raised, and, um, and I had a company that matched my total amount, so I raised 2500 and they matched that, so to say that I raised $5,000 last year, oh my gosh, I was skipping around my... I was, I was so, like... I couldn't have been happier. But it was such an emotional cool. moment for me. Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm going to change gears a little bit okay. here. I want to ask you about something else that's completely different from fundraising. You were involved with the video with Billy Corgan and oh, Smash yeah. Pumpkins yeah. a couple years yeah. ago. Um, so you got to work with the Smash Pumpkins. You mm -hmm. got to do the video in the same building that they shoot Shimmer. And, that's you right. know, yeah. uh, What was that experience like? Did you enjoy it? And, and how did that kind of come about? I mean, going from being a, a you know, a, a very well respected pro wrestler uh -huh. and now uh, the Smashing Pumpkins, Billy Gordon comes up to you, who's uh -huh. this angsty singer from the 90s, he's done a lot more obviously but right. in a nutshell, and hey I want to do a video, uh, it's all about women's wrestling and uh -huh. I want you to star in it, what's going through your head at that time? It, it was actually, it actually kind of came about almost the opposite way because remember when Billy Corgan came to Cop Bar Alley yes. a couple years ago and then um, he sat at my table. Okay? Yeah. Oh my God. We yeah. both marked out because the, yeah, Mill Mascaris is like at the table oh, too. Mill Mascaris, <laughs> this is awesome. You're Billy Corgan. Oh. 
Wasn't he sitting at the table with all the blow girls too? He was, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, technically, oh we was, he was here, here, I was here. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, yeah, that's awesome. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. So, yeah. Well, he, I mean, he appreciates wrestling. He loves wrestling, man. Um, and I, I'm a big Billy Corgan fan. I'm a big Smashing Pumpkins fan. So it was very awkward when I met him. I was like, wow, you, you know, your music was such a big part of my life growing up. So it's very weird to make a connection with the music that he created that sparked so many fun like high school memories, stuff like that. And then, um, and then uh, I forgot how the conversation came out. Came out, but we went out to a diner, and uh, I just randomly said, oh. I want to be your next music video. Realistically, I just me being in a music That's video. That's pretty ballsy, though. But like, hey, but, I, video. but I said that expecting nothing to happen. Oh yeah. I expected nothing to happen. It it was it was something that was on my bucket list. Really, I want to be in a music video. Bucket list. So I threw it out there, and then when I said that, he was like, "That's funny you said that. You know, I've always wanted to do a wrestling music video." I'm like, That's very very cool. And then, and then no, the were you IDs. happy with the way it came out? Yeah, I was happy. I mean, because it, it's, it's a length, it's like a seven minute song, it's a long video, yeah. it's kind of neat. I mean, it's got a whole story, a whole narrative to it and everything. Uh -huh. um, it's not like a three minute pop song or quick no. cuts and everything. There, there is a short play. version of it, yeah. There oh, is okay. a short version of it too, but yeah, you're all right. It's like a music video movie. That's it, yeah. 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 Dialogue and the whole thing. Yeah. Where you find out that Raven is uh, a cheater. What the oh. hell? God, that <laughs> asshole. <laughs> sure. That asshole. I just popped for seeing Billy Corgan at the Berwyn Eagles Club. Like right? Like crowd shots. Yeah. Oh, you know that place. Okay. So, that's a very cool thing. Um, the other thing I wanted to ask you about. Oh, here's what I want to do. Huh. I'm getting low on the beer, so I'm going to be finishing up relatively soon. But, I want to ask you something completely out of left field. Where are we going? Yeah. Okay, here it is. That's my drink. <laughs> <laughs> Female Terminator, Liz Anderson. Oh, God. Old character yeah. is you're a badass. Uh -huh. Okay? Like, it's so funny, you know, you you think cheerleader, it's like, ah, And I'm saying not. that, I'm laughing, you're, too, I'm listening to this. <laughs> but you, you're a complete badass, you get uh -huh. the ring, you stare people down, yeah. you're in remarkable physical condition, you, you, you are, have a really yeah. impressive high-impact style, yeah. people are intimidated by you. Like, That's true. Sherlock Holmes is a scary That's character. That's true, yeah. Okay. What is the difference between you and Shirley Holmes? In a nutshell. Uh, I think uh, Melissa Anderson controls her anger a lot better <laughs> than cheerleader Melissa. The cheerleader Melissa has a place to express it. Okay. Uh, damn. What is Melissa Anderson's? What? It, I don't know. What, what's a movie that Melissa Anderson likes and cheerleader Melissa wouldn't. Cheerleader Melissa is pretty Phantom badass. Phantom of the Opera. Phantom of the Opera? Yeah, really? Yeah, I love Phantom of the Opera. Like the movie or the play? Both. Really? Okay, like the the early 1950s um, Phantom of the Opera? You know what? I've actually kind of forgotten about that. Um, yeah, there's okay. a reason. There's a reason. Uh, there's a recent, more recent movie. Um, I forgot the actors in it though, but I have that on my phone. Really? Yeah. And, and I more love recent that. Phantom of the Opera that's on your phone? Yeah. Okay. Or not, maybe not but on my iPad. Um, shoot. See, what's on my iPad? Gosh, I suck when it comes to movies. I am like the worst movie person ever. Um, movies. Uh, Hancock is on my iPad. Yeah. The Will Smith movie? The Will Smith movie. Why? Like, that's lame. Uh, you know what? It's oh oh okay. Yeah. Melissa, Anderson. I got it. I got it. All right, what's, what's... I got it. I <laughs> yes. Yes. No, 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 no. No, but the, no. Right, I'll tell you the reason yeah. why. Right. I'll tell you the reason why. Because he struggles with addiction. He struggles with the alcohol addiction. Okay. Yeah. So I think, and so going from that, going from that, I am a huge fan of Investigation Discovery. Okay. I love those real stories, the scorn, the who the F did I marry, the, uh, um, so yeah, now you gotta edit now, but, <laughs> oh totally, yeah, it's, it's all up there. But Melissa Anderson loves Investigation Discovery, 
all those real stories of murder, like kind of murder mystery, um, scorn, the love triangles that ended murder. Oh, I love those. I can watch that network all day long. That actually makes you scarier. Than I, know, maybe, maybe, I know. Maybe I know. Maybe that's not like good. Murder. But okay. <laughs> Well, I'll throw in uh, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. All right, now you're definitely scared. Okay, scared of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. All right, I watch New Jersey. We'll stop it there. Okay, okay. All right, thank you very much for one thank beer you. with. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. And thank you for watching us. Uh, Dan Murphy with the lovely and talented Shirley Marissa. Cheers.